There are two things in my mind that make a perk meta. One being a perk that has a very useful, consistent effect that comes into play every single game. For example, Sprint Burst. The second being a perk that has an effect that might not come into play every game, but when it does come into play, it is very game-changing. Examples would be something like Decisive Strike, Unbreakable, Adrenaline. This is what makes meta perks meta. They're just the best perks overall. But my argument that I'm trying to put forward in this video is if you just equip meta every single game, you are using perks wrong and missing the point entirely. I'm going to make a statement, give you context, and then explain my reasoning. Even if your goal is to win as much as humanly possible, it would be more beneficial for you to equip perks to counter the things that you hate rather than equip the most meta perks. In 99% of the games you play, if you are playing extremely well, you don't really need perks. As a killer, there's always going to be that game where gens just fly no matter how hard you play. In a survivor, sometimes you're just going to get camped on a hook. But outside of those situations, and sometimes even in those situations, you playing at your peak is enough alone to win those games. But that's the catch. You have to be playing at your peak. And you can't be playing at your peak if you're tilted. Do you see where I'm going with this? If you run perks that counter the things that make you the angriest and that tilt you the most, you will be more calm, you will play better, and you will win games that you normally would not have won even if you were running the meta perks. And yes, you can say that you hate when the game goes by too fast, so you run Rune Undying. And yes, you can say that you hate being slugged or tunneled, so you run DS and Unbreakable. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you there are things that piss you off about this game just as much, if not even more. And those things can be countered by non-meta perks. For example, let's say you play Legion or Plague, and you are just so sick of players staying injured versus you, and then when you get in a chase with them, they sprint burst away, or they bounce the landing away, or they dead hard to make distance to a pallet. Blood Echoes counters that. If you run Blood Echo, you're either going to be cucking them out of their exhaustion perk for a majority of the game, or you're going to be forcing them to heal, which either wastes a lot of time, or in Plague's case, gives you your range power. Are you a stealth killer that gets frustrated when you sneak up on someone just for them to sprint burst away from you? You can run Mindbreaker. It's not the greatest perk in the world, but it counters sprint bursting off of generators as well as making it harder for people to use other exhaustion perks in the middle of chase. Are you Otofu and literally hate players that put on dark cosmetics and hide around the outside of the map? Run Spies from the Shadows. Even a crouching player will set off the crows if they get too close. And as far as I know, there are crows lining the outside of the map on every single map in the game. You will be blown away how effective this perk is at shutting down those stealthy players. I could name tons of examples for Survivor too. Do you hate opening chests just to get brown toolboxes over and over? Run plunders and you'll consistently get higher quality loot that can have huge impacts in your games. Heck, sometimes you'll get keys and you'll literally be able to escape early. Do you hate when a killer loops you around a pallet you already threw down for two minutes until they get Bloodlust 3 and then they just down you? This is one of the best uses for life because you can just vault the pallet and even if they guess properly, you get a huge speed boost and then can make it to a safer loop. Do you hate Noed or just Hex perks in general? Run Detective's Hunch. Even without a map, Detective's Hunch is insane at finding where all the totems are. Literally when one gem pops, you can just take five steps and boom, you have the entire map searched you know where every single totem is, you know where all the chests are, you know where everything is. Are you constantly dying because you can never find where any pallets or windows are? Windows of opportunity. Do you hate never being able to break out of the killer's grass? Flip-flop. 
Do you hate getting 3 gen every hate single game? Do you hate the binding generators on the storms? Do you hate the generators on the storms? Do you hate the generators on Look, run whatever you want. This is not a video meant to bully anyone for running any type of build. The only point I'm trying to get across is that if you're someone who runs the same 4 to 5 perks because your friends or a YouTuber told you that this was the best build you could run and you're still getting mad at the game, consider taking a step back, figuring out why you're getting so mad, and then run perks to counter that. Experiment, enjoy yourself, and get that epic victory royale, gamer. Experiment, enjoy yourself, and get that epic victory royale gamer. Experiment, enjoy yourself, and get that epic victory royale game. Oh my god.